Hello everybody, here we are at the famous Excalibur Fruit Trees in Lake Worth, Florida, or right outside Lake Worth, Florida. And they have uh, so many mangoes, it's mango season now. This is a fruit nursery that sells a whole bunch of different fruit trees. And the amazing thing that they have is the fruit falls off the tree, they sell the fruit here. And right now they have mangoes, it's just starting the season, it'll go all the way through. And you've seen videos of me from years ago at this very place and now I'm a little bit more educated about these particular varieties of mangoes. So it's always a great way to see what mangoes are in season when. The mangoes that are here now I know are the early season mangoes by the evidence right here in the proof. We have a cherry mango. I've read many things online that say when things are in season and when not but this is the best way to tell. We got cherry, dwarf Hawaiian, southern blush, pack mango, Dot mango, and these aren't dots, these are big mangoes. <laughs> these are good. I have a tree of so for every day. I don't have the, the no, southern can. flush, uh, I have all the others in my yard. There's a Cushman and Bailey's Marble, Hayden, which is one of the earliest ones, Floragon. You have your Julie, Alfonso, okay. Namduk Mai, Excalibur and Glen and Bombay as well. So uh, I've tasted uh, just about uh, all of these at some point. Uh, and when I come to these places, I like to get the mangoes that are ripe. And when you hear some of them are ripe and some aren't ripe. Uh, so are we in your way? Uh, some are ripe and some aren't ripe. Uh, now, the fellow here just said, if somebody's going in a plane, they prefer them not ripe because they'll ripen up when they get home. I prefer to get them ripe because from my experience, They'll ripen 50% of the times, okay, but a good amount of times they won't, and they're a good amount of money these days. Uh, I love the variety they have here, and they do have some that are ripe. I actually just got some ripe Glen mangoes. Uh, so uh, you got to be careful, and you want to look at well, what the goal is. If you want to take the chance of getting some ripe or not, that's fine, or, or or so on. But all year a place like this and there are local farms here as well that you see me go to all the time that uh, have excess mangoes from their trees that they're selling and some places just specifically just sell mangoes uh, but it's a great way to know if you're buying a tree i recommend you taste as many varieties of mangoes as possible before you go ahead and you decide which mango tree to put in the ground uh, but here, uh, at some point I've tasted these, but I don't remember if it was in the old days, I didn't look at the different names. We're here with our friend Victor today. And how many mango trees do you have? Six. About six. And when you pick your mango trees, how did you decide to pick them? Were they there when you moved on the property or did you put them in later on? I just yeah, yeah. picked them, but I had never tasted them, so. Okay, so with all the different varieties out there, would you recommend people taste first or would you just they pick any one. I'd recommend you taste first, because that's what I'm doing now. Yes, yes. And also, uh, the hurricane, you know, Victor had a flourishing trees all over the place, and it was a hurricane years ago, and how many of them did that wipe out? It didn't wipe out any of the mangoes. It wiped out the avocado trees and some of the other ornamental trees, the mango state. Okay, great, great. And uh, what's your best mango producing one? that you have? Uh, probably the uh, not like that. Yes, yeah. yes. So uh, what I love about these places is not only buying the different fruit and seeing what's available and tasting the fruit, but you always see some friends that have the same passion for this. Uh, I'm even friends with the workers here. I know them well enough and, uh, and it's really nice. I've been coming here for years and I bought a good amount of my trees at this place. And yeah, there's, a, there's just a whole community of people on Facebook and, and Instagram that are teaching people how to eat these things, how to buy these All things. Right. So there's so many people that are doing this out here yeah, yeah. and it's really exciting. And uh, so of all these yeah, varieties, yeah, we'll just try yeah. them and see how they are and we'll let you know. If you have yeah, comments or questions, post them below. I'm going to post the address to this place below the video and I'll also put a couple of other places the address uh, of mangoes you can get. All right, everybody. Uh, anything else you want to say? No. <laughs> eat All right. mangoes. Eat mangoes. All right. Keep growing, everybody.